Also in Greenville today, the North Carolina High School Athletic Association is visiting East Carolina University as part of their statewide regional meetings. The board of directors for the association association came to speak with coaches, athletic directors and school officials about developments happening with athletics all across North Carolina. Now your science Davis Supas joins us now in the studio. So Davis, what did the board focus on today? That's right, Ken Aaron. They talked about playoffs, officials, realignment and much, much more. It's a very helpful to those coaches and athletes athletic directors working to motivate and inspire their athletes. One of the big details discussed was finances, whether that was raises for officials or paying to get into a high school playoff game. It's clear they're working to help the athletes. If you don't understand, if you're upset about a decision, reach out. Try to find out why that decision was made because the North Carolina High School Athletic Association is all about kids. It's about doing what's best for kids and we all know that athletics plays a huge role in our students' lives and it can open up doors of opportunity for them in the future that they might not have had without it. An athlete representing the Student Athlete Advisory Council got to address the meeting today, highlighting some of the positive experiences the organization has been able to provide. I think the biggest thing with SAC, besides the community aspect, it gives the athletes a voice. And um, I think that's why everyone should join or have one, at least of their own at their school, so they can have a voice into how their sports are being changed or being represented. Other organizations like the NC Coaches Association encourage the athletic departments for these schools to get involved in as many ways as they can, because not exploring every opportunity possible only hurts the kids. Oh, well, you know, every year we have you know, small changes that happen, potential changes that are going to be upcoming, and we always talk with each other amongst the athletic world with other athletic directors, and now we get a chance to talk with Q and Brad Offord and the staff from the NCHSA to answer any lingering questions we have or get any uh, future updates. These meetings work as a way for the board to spread their message of getting involved with different councils, boards, and foundations. Live in studio, I'm Davis Supas, 9 on your side. Davis, thank you. In